up until the mid 20th century, trust was a word that was really only used in philosophical or uh, uh, religious kind of contexts. Uh, it wasn't used in business much other than, you know, we want to be your trusted grocery store or something like that. But it was a, what there's a out of print book that's really fascinating called Plastic Words. It's about the words that you throw around without understanding the meaning. And trust is a plastic word. But in 1958, a guy named Morton Deutsch, who was a workplace theorist, uh, defined trust as the willingness of one person to be vulnerable to another person. Now, I've always talked about trust being a vulnerability in digital systems, and I didn't even know that Deutsch had written this until after I'd published some blog posts on it, and then people were sending me his research because it wasn't yet Googleable, <laughs> if that's even a word. But but he was really onto something, right? The willingness to be vulnerable to somebody else, and so uh, we 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 tend to just think of it as this core human emotion. But in the digital world, it was just a, a word picked out randomly. And I know the guy who who did it, uh, and and assign you know used to assign interface names. And uh, there was actually a. Uh, an RFC or a FAC or something written by Ross Anderson on trusted computing. And in, in there, he, he, people will oftentimes point that out. You haven't read Ross Anderson's trusted computing fact. And I'll say, no, I think you haven't read it. Cause in it, he says, uh, it, trust is a joke. He said, trust in, in the federal government. We, we say any, any system we can compromise, that's a trusted system. And so there's all these things people would say to me, you know, Ronald Reagan said, you need to trust, but verify. And I'm like, yeah, well, Ronald Reagan was a great cybersecurity expert, wasn't he? But in reality, he was quoting a Russian proverb uh, and he was using an English translation of it, but it actually men means the opposite. The essence of it in Russian is he was saying to Mikhail Gorbachev, we're going to be watching you, you know, we're going to go watch in every step you do. So everybody just took all this stuff and then ran with a narrative that wasn't true and look, nobody looked deeply into it. And, and that's what Forrester Research gave me the ability to do 